hi guys welcome to another video about laravel so this is a video series that creates read update and delete data uh, from uh, our database all right so uh, yeah the last video was about uh, reading information from our database all right so we use controller to that we have uh, the post controller right, right over here hold on let me just switch the video all right so yep so we have the post controller right over here that handles uh it, it has all the methods right over here i think i've been i had been using the term function to refer to this methods but yeah it's basically a function but since it is inside the class it is now called a method in object oriented programming all right so yeah sometimes it's kind of confusing but basically it's still a function all right still works like a function it's just the uh, terminology proper terminology that we need to use now it's method so we're going to be working right now on uh, uh, so we we're done with reading and now we're going to be working with uh, creating data through the database storing the information so we already have a create that blade at php here this we're going to put the form so let's copy the content in the index that played at php so that the master layout that we have right over here will also be applied in our create that blade that page p the master layout is basically this one right here so we're just extending the layout to this page that we are working on at the moment okay so save that and of course we're, we, we do not need this uh perhaps the h1 we we need that so i'm gonna say create new post all right and let's double check the na navigation bar if it's routing to uh post that create so how do we know that this is the url you can use the uh, from the terminal you can use the php artisan route list and when you do that you will get this information uh, that will tell you the available routes that uh, are available in the system when we have generated the posts controller as well as the pages controller i believe yeah i think this is for the post controller only so this uh uh let me show you this post test create is right over here post create and the method is get all right so post test that create and then it routes to post controller at create method method in the post controller it's right over here create let me search that all right so it's right over here yeah, there's already co code here. I was messing around with this one earlier uh, prior to recording. So let me delete that so that it will not be unfair to you. So the default uh, setting should, should be like that. There's like a double forward slash as a comment. Yeah, all right. So uh, at this point, we need to uh, uh, see if, uh, the, if when the user click uh, new post. Okay, let me refresh that new post. Okay, it should be, we should uh, see something like this here that, that something that will say create new post or the form. The form that it has a text box, a text area, and a button that will allow the user to send information to our database. All right, so let's do that. So in the create that blade at PHP, we have here the uh, title create new post. And I'm heading over to Bootstrap. And uh, uh, for the forms, I'm going to copy. So we're gonna be using this form right over here okay this text box so i'm going to copy the code all right i'm going to copy this one right over here and there are things that we don't need uh i think we don't need this small tag all right uh, we only need this email but i'm going to convert it into text and i'm going to name this a title all right why title Re remember we have a field called title in our database so that, that's why we're naming it uh, as a title so that when the user uh, entered information here whatever the uh, text that was entered by the user it th that's the one that will be saved into our database and i don't need the password we don't need the password field uh, since this is not login page we don't need this as well but the button we need that and the last time that we need in this in the form is the text area so we have an example text area right over here and this is the code so copy that and paste it right over here so i'm naming this uh, i'm naming this 
uh, remember in our database we have title and then content so I'm naming it as content all right content then we of course we can put a placeholder we'll say we can say type your content here all right and for placeholder for the title we can say enter your title okay save your work and let's try to load the page all right so it should route to create that play that page p let's go to post controller under create let's return the view which is the um posts that create which is right over here create that play that page p and of course we semi semicolon all right yeah that's it for the create and let's see if it works all right so uh click the uh this one right here and the new post and there you have it so we have here the enter your title the one that the placeholder that we just type and then type your content here all right so we don't need this text maybe we can rename that we can say uh let's go to create that blade at php and type here uh title all right how about that and here uh, content okay save that let's check our site so now we have title and then content uh, there's no semicolon for content let's put that save refresh and there you have it so now we have a form uh, all, all we need to do is to create the functionality that will uh, uh, create a program a code uh, to that when the user click the submit button whatever the user type in here um, my new post and then blah 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 and the text in the content uh, text area uh, it should be stored in our database so let's uh, let's do that all right so in order to do that we need this store in our PHP route list all right, let me clear that out store so we need the uh, store uh, method all right so let's go to post controller and yeah hold on in our form let's make sure to use a method it says post right and the action should route to we're gonna be routing this to uh, post dot store all right right over here post dot store okay save it and to prevent cross-site uh, uh, scripting let's we need to type uh, the csrf here okay so you can google that what that it, what it means in fact we can do it right now all right csrf laravel yeah th there is it laravel so this is for protection all right, Laravel, Laravel makes it easy to protect your application from cross-site uh, request forgery attacks. So that's for the security of your website. And it's just a little code here, uh, but it's very important. Laravel already have the all the functionality that's involved. When you type the at CSRF in this area, in your form, whenever you create the form, you put this one, all right? So let's go to create, uh, and then you, we go to store method. And the store method, we can say uh, post or maybe new post. This is the new post that was created by the user. That's that's why we're naming the variable that way. And then we uh, the static uh, calling of the class uh, post and then find. Uh, should I say find? I I think we we only need new post. All right, new post not fine because we, we're not getting an id we do that to display an individual post all right so yeah so new post and then we can say new post remember that this post class is already handling the functionality uh whatever is inside in our database so we can say new post title because this post is already here in our variable new post title and then you can say here request dot title what is the request the title request is the http request that is coming from our form in the create that blade that php all right so 
uh, whatever we are typing in the uh, create that bladed page it will create an HTTP post request and the post controller already have the method for that so uh, that means the data will be stored here in this variable request in fact when you hover to it you can see uh, HTTP request uh, illuminate uh, HTTP request uh, link right here a path okay in Laravel so that's the title in the form and you know that we already have a we also have a content so we can just go ahead and copy this one right over here and just change this to content all right so it's saying to the computer that uh, hey uh, Laravel um, uh, you store the uh, request w whatever is in the content you put it on this variable okay so and now we can save it okay so to save it new post and then save all right so that's it May I, and uh, for the meantime let's just return return uh you can say uh successful okay uh saving data successful for the meantime, later we'll, we'll put say, a notification message, uh, a better one. But right now, let's do that for, for testing purposes. Or sorry, hold on, sorry about that. All right, so basically what we did is right over here. Uh, sorry, I, was, I forgot to switch the video. So for new post, uh, title, and then uh, rec uh, this is the HTTP request from the title in the form. And this one is the content in the form uh, right over here okay this is the content and the title all right post controller and then uh, we are storing it in the new post uh, variable okay and now to save it this is the code new post um, and then save all right sorry about that i i hope i was able to uh, explain that again because i forgot to switch the uh, the video now we're just returning saving data successful just to let us know right now if it's working later we're gonna be uh, creating a fa fa uh, a better a better notification message all right so let's go back to our page so uh, re let's refresh this to make sure so let's say uh, uh test post and then let's say let's make a text maybe let's copy this all right po paste it right over here and then submit all right so there you go saving data successful all right and let's check the database if the the one that we type is in there so refresh our database and there you have it test post for title and then the content uh there the one that we copy yeah from the laravel website it's right over laravel make it make it easy to protect your application right it's right over here oh sorry about that right over here all right so yeah there you have it we're able to create um, uh, successfully create a uh, um, a um, yeah the create functionality of the crud all right in this laravel series so we're done with reading we're done with creating all what is left is update and delete update is when a user select the post and then edit it so in facebook or social med med media platform uh, there's a, uh, an option for user to edit our uh, our post right so that is the next video uh, uh, that is what what's, what's gonna be what we're gonna be talking about <laughs> in the next video all right thank you for watching guys and um, uh, please subscribe to support my channel and have a great day